What up, boys? Welcome to Broncos Franchise, man. We are psyched for another new series here on the channel. Just launched the subscriber-only franchise as well, man. And that episode for week one is an absolute banger. But... We are here on the heels of ending Colts franchise with a bang, three back-to-back -back Super Bowls, trying to rebuild the Denver Broncos. Now, if you missed out on the draft and preseason training camp and free agency, definitely go check out these live recording stream here. I'll drop the link in the description below and pop it up right here, man. But if you want to check that out, go because you're going to see just how good it was here in a second when we show you the lineup, dude. But I'm so excited. We completely gutted this team. There's a ton of work to do. And starting out at a 79 overall is actually pretty decent as we are going to have some major major work to do in developing this team and i cannot wait as we are headed with this team hopefully for glory on the back half of madden 24 now with that being said a little bit about this series man we have realistic rosters updated rosters with free agency changes all being accounted for man so all trades up to this point pretty much everyone should be on the team that they are man and another thing uh we also imported a realistic draft class for 2024 so you're about to see that we do have players like caleb williams drake may we have that entire class and we made some crazy moves to get some of these studs that we're gonna see drafted here in a couple weeks in the 2024 NFL draft. So without further ado, boys, let's get into it. Your Broncos led by brick wall, superstar mode legend, seven foot, 300 pound monster, retired from the NFL and got the offer. John Elway made the call to bring brick wall in to turn this Broncos unit around. And you're gonna see just how well he can do that. So <laughs> I'm gonna stop blabbing. Let's get into it. Setting this season goal here, and we are going to, I want to get four, I want to get seven wins. I would love to get seven wins. I don't expect this to potentially be a playoff team year one. And as for the, the XP sliders, I'm kind of on the fence about whether I, you know, I don't want this to be extreme realism where we can't even develop guys because some of the recommended um, XP sliders show you like having your guys, you know, 60% progression rate, which at that point you're getting maybe one to a couple XP points a season. Um, but what we did do is we made edits to the age sliders. I may change this later, um, but uh, as far as the positional progression rates, but we changed the progression rates here to have young players progress a little bit quicker because it is a young, a young players league. And then as they drop off after age 26, they will start to regress much or progress much much slower and then as for um the regression starting at you know 26 through 20 uh, 32 they regress at normal rate but they regress much much quicker after 32 which sometimes in madden you'll see a player hang on for like till they're like 38 or something and that rarely ever happens in real life now it does happen but it rarely happens you know mercedes lewis jason peters calais campbell a few that come to mind but nevertheless choose the draft class here we are going to do an auto generated class i don't feel like the 2025 class um files are too accurate and maybe i'm sure there are some that are pretty good but i, I would like to have some players that we're not too familiar with come in so we're going to do auto generated rookies here after using a realistic draft class and scott jones and tyson walton top two quarterbacks are exactly the same looking <laughs> then there's uh, a top three corner which we could probably definitely use some pass rushers some tackles so we will have some options man as we have a ton of holes to fill before we get into scouting before we get into rookie qb1 before we get into opening day keys let's take a look at and not keep you waiting any longer your denver broncos unit man after a killer draft that showed us Moving up with two picks into the top 10, we drafted quarterback Drake May out of North Carolina, second overall. 
20 years old rookie. He's really 21 in real life. I could change that, but he is a 79 nat, 95 throw power to go along with pretty good throwing stats, um, all at least an 80. And then 86 speed. You know, he's going to be able to like move in the pocket, get out of the pocket, and then also has a cannon of an arm. And he's going to get to use that to get the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Marvin Harrison fell to the eighth overall pick. If you have not seen that video, I really recommend you go watch the draft stream that we did, man. The recording is in a video and it was incredible. 80, he was an 81. He got a plus two overall upgrade in training camp and he fell to number eight. We were not going to send the house to go get him, but we had to because he fell to pick number eight. And I, the best player in the draft, by the way, I wasn't going to let him fall any further. 92 speed, 93 excel, 94 spec catch, 94 jumping, 90 catch of traffic, 90 agility. I mean, this is a freak of a player. He's going to be catching passes from Drake May, both out of the same class. He's unbelievable. Also drafted Xavier Leggetti. Leggetti Spaghetti, as Continental Gamer calls him. Uh, 74 overall, 94 speed as well. He's a big-time addition. We are able to pick him up in the second round. Um, you know what Javante Williams is. Really good power back. We, we off, you know, we pretty much destroyed this offensive line. So we don't really have anybody. Um, who did we trade away? We traded away Garrett Bowles at left tackle. He was old. Contract was coming up. We weren't going to re-sign him. So the offensive line is probably the weakest point of this team as Ben Powers is injured. Out four weeks. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. He was healthy when we simmed this week. Got injured in preseason. This offensive line is terrible. I expect that to be really, really tough for us early on here. And then Greg Dolchich is a good tight end prospect. He should be able to be serviceable out of that position. He's still young. He's only 24. He has 84 speed, 84 catching, 88 excel, and has good spec catch and catch in traffic for a tight end. So I expect him to be good. 84 speed, not great, but will be a good dump down target for us. And he's only 24. Now, Marvin Mims was on this team originally and a familiar face and very good. 78 overall, star dev, 22 years old, 92 speed, 94 excel. So we have a really, really good offensive receiving unit and quarterback. All of that is short up. Javante will develop. It's just going to be about developing this offensive line. I'm not sure how well the O-line will be able to protect us in season one is my main concern. Now, because Adoga, we actually signed off waivers. He was the only good option because we had four size. So realistically, if we hadn't signed Adoga, we would have been starting three 60-something overall linemen. Terrible. That's not good. Now, taking a look at the defense, it's not much better. Um, it's worse, actually. So what we have is we drafted Andrew Phillips. Um, drafted him in the fourth round, I believe. Third round. One snap away from getting his dev trait revealed, but he's 21 years old, six foot, 75 overall, and is very good. 93 speed, 94 excel, 98 jumping. Might I say, you can't see this. There we go, though. 98 jumping to go along with 77 man and 76 zone. He's going to be very, very good. I'm excited. We needed him because our corner room is just pretty terrible. Now, if we can get some fight from... Who is this? Damari Mathis. Yeah, 25 out of pit. 93 speed, 94 excel, 99 jumping. Good lord. We're going to be jumping like we got <laughs> we got pogo stick energy going. Oh my god. 72 man, 72 zone is not great. 48 tackle is terrible. But it's it's serviceable for now. Obviously, we have Pat Sertan. We know what he is. One of the best corners in the league. 24 years old. X factor 97 overall. 93 speed, 99 man, 95 zone, 99 play rec. He's crazy, dude. I mean, he, he's crazy. Now, one thing to note as well, we do have dev trait regression now on in this league. We had it off in Colts franchise. We have it on in this league. I want it to be a little bit more realistic. I want it to be harder to build a super team. So guys that don't play their minds out, they may regress. So did draft Braden Fiske 
uh, in the third round, second round. 23 years old rookie, normal dev, but he's a really good player, guys. 86 strength to go along with 77 block shed, 79 power move raw, 78 tackle, 84 speed. 84 speed at 6'5", 300 pounds. He's really good. I expect him to maybe get a dev trait upgrade at some point. Um, and if he can develop, it'd be a beast. Everyone else on the front four is terrible. Matt uh, Roach, Henningsen, it's not good. There were no good free agents. We didn't have the depth to, to draft anyone else. It just is what it is. Baron Browning, Jonathan Cooper will be good off the edge, especially Baron Browning. Want him to get a chance to develop. He'll be probably our easily our best pass rusher. And then middle linebacker, it's Drew Sanders and Cody Barton right now. I am not opposed to trading Cody Barton before this week one game. We'll take a look at that. But he's still only 27, 80 overall debt, star dev, 85 speed, 94 tackle. Like he's not bad at all. So we, we might just keep him. But I do want Drew Sanders to get on the field more. Looking at Drew Sanders, one of the players we're most excited about developing. Only 22, star dev, 75 overall. He's 6'5", 233, by the way. Uh, 84 speed, 80 tackle, 89 excel, 83 hit power, 85 pursuit, 69 zone. Got to get the zone coverage up, but he should get opportunities to, to play. Now, safeties, Caden Stearns, uh, Brandon Jones, and then Ashton Davis, who was signed. Um... You know, we're excited about him. Uh, we had to, he was on waivers. He was not, he was not signed um, by a team yet. He's a free agent in real life. So we signed him in preseason to give some safety depth. Um, and then Brandon Jones was already on the team. Now 26 start out of Texas, 89 speed, 79 zone. He's good. He, he's good. He's going to have a chance to start immediately. And the biggest thing about this team is, yeah, this defense is not great outside of Sertan, but with that being said, a lot of guys are going to get a chance to step up and we're going to get a chance to see what this unit is made of. Um, we're going to get a chance to see who steps up, who shines. Um, some lower overall guys are going to get a chance to break out in this offense. Now we also have Caden Stearns out of Texas, 24 years old, 91 speed, 77 zones. So we have two really good young safeties that I'm excited about. And then we add Ashton Davis to the mix, um, who's probably going to end up starting here. And then Caden Stearns will probably be our user just because of, of scheme. So um, I'm going to move Ashton Davis back to deep, back to strong safety. And then I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, boys. So the depth chart looks as follows, man. I did revert Ashton Davis's dev trait back to normal. It was star. I had changed it to star. I thought it was, but then I remembered he's supposed to be normal. So Caden Stearns, Brandon Jones starting at safeties. Uh, Davis is going to actually start at safety because Caden Stearns will be our user. We got Cooper and Browning rushing off the edge with Fisky in the middle. Phillips, the rookie, is going to play slot corner for us. And then Leggetti is slated to be our slot wide receiver. Williams will start at both running back slots. And I think we're in a good position, man. We'll see how it goes. We're going to be fluid with any changes. But, um, you know, I feel good about where we're at as we take on the Bucks in week one. So let's get into opening day keys. Rookie QB1, and then it's game time. Has to be dominating offense. I'm, I'm, I feel like our offense is going to be much better than our defense for obvious reasons. Throw for 350 plus yards with a rookie quarterback taking his first NFL snaps. And they have... <laughs> No <laughs> shortness of expectations. Holy smokes. Drake May, what am I expecting? If we have to get 350 with him for the other one, we might as well go all in. So beat the Buccaneers 300 plus yards with Drake May. We'll get two birds with one stone, dude. And let's see what we can do. Marvin Harrison Jr. is already the second best overall player on our team. So... <laughs> All right, boys, we actually got a couple upgrades here ahead of the game. Drake May, the rookie, is going up to an 80 overall. Wow. Wow, dude. That's a massive upgrade. He gets in a ability slot means he's at least superstar development. Thought he probably was, but plus one throw power as well. This rookie could be incredible. Drew Sanders also gets an upgrade. Wow. All right. We need him to be a little bit better in pass coverage. Does get a 76. That green overall circle is very, very visually pleasing. Plus one 
zone coverage, man coverage, tackle, awareness. Like him to get some speed upgrades, but it's it's tough for middle linebackers, man. 84 speed is kind of slow. So, so after some heavy duty research, boys, I have made the gameplay sliders absolute hell for us. <laughs> So we are going to not only have an uphill battle with a lower overall team, but in Broncos franchise now, I have created what I feel like are going to be juggernaut sliders, man. So QB accuracy is at 30, pass blocking down to a 35. These are actually much, much harder than the ones we even had for Colts franchise. I want it to be difficult. Even in Colts franchise, we were able to score 70 on some teams. I don't want that to even be possible in this one man so run blocking is at zero zero i've done a lot of research i've crossed I'm, i've combined a lot of different creators recommended sliders based off you know realism ball security 49 pass defense defense reaction time all the way down to 20 20 i mean we saw how many picks we were getting at the end there in colts franchise that was at 30 so 20 is even lower um interceptions 35 tackling 49 c qb accuracy for the cpu will be all the way up to 75 so the qbs are going to be extremely pinpoint with the football pass blocking at a 50 um, we'll keep that stock for now um just to kind of offset, if they're going to be really accurate, we have to be able to generate some pressure. So wide receiver catching it at 49. Run blocking gets a boost up to 70. Now, we'll keep an eye on this one because I feel like the computer can get really sweaty at running the ball. So we'll see. Um, ball security at 40. Just don't feel like they ever fumble. And their pass defense reaction time and pass coverage is up at a 90. A 90. That is much much higher i think colts franchise it was all the way up to a an 80 83 at one point we're going all the way up to 90 i just feel like it's extremely hard to get stopped on offense you can just kind of put the ball wherever you want i almost have to like hold myself back from scoring even more points so interceptions at 30 tackling 49 uh kicking we changed it up a bit um but we did move injuries to 20 little higher than it was on colts fatigue at a 50 and minimum player speed threshold is at a 75 now the lower this one is it makes it the difference between fast and slow players even greater so like a player like jmo williams or you know a 98 speed receiver is going to burn pretty much anybody that tries to guard him we now we've made this higher than 50 that and a lot of people said 75 they felt like it was the sweet spot 75 or 95 i'm going to test out both to see what happens but um, 75 makes it so our guys won't create as much separation based off their speed. So over a long distance of time, this the slower player is able to catch up and stay with at least get closer to the fast player. So I think that's going to be really good. And you know, did some penalty stuff too. Um, you know, intentional grounding is off. Legal contact is off. Everything else is normal, man. So I think that's going to help a ton. So let's get into the game time, man. And let's see how hard these sliders are. I'm expecting it to be tough. Let's see how the debut goes. All right, baby. Episode one, game one of the Denver Broncos franchise here on the channel, boys. And we're fired up, man. Drake May bringing the offense out. We got the orange unis. And we are kicking off to the Tampa Bay Bucks in hopes for a Denver Broncos upset. This team is much, much better than we are. Led by Baker Mayfield. They got multiple receivers with abilities. And we're going to have to rely a lot on our offense and Patrick Sertan, PS2 on defense to kind of hold the line because we're going to have a tough time stopping them on these sliders. I'll tell you that much. Let's go. Play action. Go get him! Ball's up in the air. How did he catch that? He's running away from us. Brian Thomas just destroys us on the first play from scrimmage. What is happening? This is the most unbelievable play ever. I could barely speak. I'm just spewing bullshit. Baker escapes the pocket. I click on. We're able to... Jonathan Cooper destroys him off his back foot, catches the ball, and then just flat out runs away from Brandon Jones down the sideline. 
What the hell? Oh <laughs> no, that is not a good sign of potential things to come. Holy smokes, we're gonna have to be patient with this squad, boys. We're gonna have to be patient. Interested to see what Drake May can do in this offense. You know, he's got all the weapons in the world. Xavier Leggetti, Marvin Harrison Jr. over on the left side. They're all wearing number 22. Why are they all wearing number 22? That's not allowed in the league. We are the rule-breaking Broncos. And we've got an open receiver here. Marvin Mims, third and inches. They do have press coverage here, but we're just going to run the football north-south. Try and pick this up. Javante broken tackle. It gets the first down. 32-yard line. We are churning and burning. And now in press coverage again. But we know that these sliders may kind of clamp these guys up. We actually might have Marvin Harrison. Can he run under it? All right. Here we go. Going to have underneath here. It's going to be Marvin Mims again. North-south. Up to the 42. And Drake May delivering an accurate ball here. I love to see that. Troutman is in. Is Dolchich out? Where the hell is he? He's ready to play? Hey, and dude, get in the game then, asshole. I'm going to force you to play. If you're ready to play, then nut up. The curly-headed fuck from Superstar Mode is testing my patience here. We're going to have... It's going to sail over... What is this throw? What? Dude. I mean, Jordan Whitehead left the ground like a freaking... Dude. Like a jet ready for takeoff. I mean, also, this is airmailed by a mile. I mean, Troutman is just sitting down. And May said, nah. Holy lord. That's a tough start here. Is we're not going to get... That's crazy run blocking. We are in a hell game right now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sanders. No, we need to get sheds here. Rashad White running away from people. Oh, my God. Play action this time. Wide open. He splits the middle and he's a touchdown. Mike Evans and Rashad Lawrence got injured. Oh, no, boys. Oh, no. We may have found the sliders from hell. This is not going well. We And there's a foot fracture for our second string DT. Kind of showed there, man. We expect May to make that throw. As, it's going to be a hold on Marvin Harrison Jr., I bet. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> Check down to Troutman. There he hits him. Able to find him and pick up nine. Going mesh spot. Sharif. Here we go, buddy. Don't let me down in Broncos franchise now. Don't you do it. As we're going to have Marvin Harrison potentially wide open immediately. Hit him. What is the throw? What is the throw? Drill him. I'm spamming Y. Marvin Harrison Jr. Got him. Broken tackle, Marvin Harrison Jr. down the middle of the field. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. The rookie to rookie connection begins with a bang. Come on, clip that. What a way to get your first NFL touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr. Absolute insanity as he breaks the tackle through in traffic. It takes it all the way to the house, man. Am not able to move like I normally do here. We're not even going to get anybody near Rashad White. I mean, he might rush for... We're nerfing that run slider. That's ridiculous. The hard part is if you don't give it some juice, then the computer will not be able to run the ball. As there we go. Who is that? Is that big roach? The roach. The cockroach in the backfield. Stepping up, man. Let's see if Fisky can get make a play here. Drew Sanders! Brick hands! Oh my god. Third and 14. Go get him. Go get him! Who's home? Baron Browning, come on! We want to develop him, and he's stepping up in a big way. Oh, we've got Leggetti! 
Wide open over the middle. And May not able to hit him in stride. I mean, that is brutal. It's 14-7 at the end of the first quarter. And we have got to get it together here. I mean, we just need Drake May to deliver an accurate football. That needs to be over his head. Lob it. Lob it, please. And we're going to have to. It's, it's going to be a Bronco punt. Go get him. Mathis, make the tackle. <laughs> Diving like a spider monkey. Trying to take his head off. We couldn't do it. 49ers beat the Patriots 49-14. to Shot White check down here. Let's get him. Let's get him. Passer 10 can't make the tackle. Hot enough to the races and down to the 20. Oh my God. Brian Thomas, touchdown number two for this rookie. Oh no, it's a Brian Thomas versus Marvin Harrison Jr. show. I don't expect much else from this defense with these sliders, but this is tough, guys. This is real tough. I mean, they, they, they're pretty much unstoppable right now. Got Troutman, though. Adam Troutman! Big time gain. And he'll pick up a big chunk down to the 47. And that's going to do as Adam Troutman gets his second grab of the game. 37 yards now on the day. Let's give Javante some more work here. Pick up a block. Javante Williams! Holy smokes, we're opening things up. Javante with it zero. The slider for run blocking is all the way at zero. Has five for 35 with that run, man. actually think I like what Stick could do here on first down. Marvin Harrison Jr. is just going to cook and press coverage. Touchdown number two. Brian Thomas can do it. So can MHJ. And they are battling right now. It is a rookie battle between Marvin Harrison Jr. and Brian Thomas Jr. I am loving this speed disparity. By the way, this change makes it feel so much more realistic when you can actually, like, realistically create separation a little bit. Like, guys don't just, like, glitch into a tackle animation. There's actually some realism, and you can actually run around guys. That's an insane route from Kate Otten. He's going in, out, up, and over. I mean, what am I watching? Third and three. And they might run the football here. We are going to bring everybody up. And we're going to be ready for anything that comes in the box. Pause. Pause. Break it up with Sanders. I wasn't going to get there for the pick. But I'm able to, like, launch forward and able to punch the ball out. And the, the Buccaneers are going to settle for a field goal here. Keep it a 10-point game. And he's able to knock it through. Long field goal is good by McLaughlin. Marvin Harrison Jr. over 100 yards now and two touchdowns, man. Having a big time day. Dude, I need blocking right there from MHJ, man. Got to give me it. Got to give me it. We will update the numbers, man. This 22 glitch looks weird as hell. But it will be funny to look back on that his career started at number 22. Catch it! <laughs> what? Oh my god. I mean, dude. I mean, it's not a good opportunity. Why do I also launch? Like, what is that angle? But that's a terrible ball because pressure was just crushing me. I was literally getting sacked. But the, he swats it. Troutman. I mean. He caught it and bounced the ball off his own face. I mean, we can I cannot escape the Kendall Vildor, Kendall Vildor luck from the NFC Championship that happened to my Lions. Smacked it off his own face. It's not the first time this has happened to me. The rookie Andrew Phillips gets hands on the football and drops it. Dude, we might have to edit the freaking interception slider. That's two drop picks. Oh, my God. Phillips got to get that, buddy. The rookie could have completely made, like, 
completely shifted this game on its head and just dropped it with brick hands. That's unbelievable, dude. Play action here. Godwin's wide open. Godwin's wide open, and this is what happens when you drop interceptions, man. That's me. That's me! Caden Stearns intercepted! Give me my cookies! I want them warm, and I want a scoop of damn ice cream, baby! It's Broncos football! And have an opportunity here for Troutman. They drop it, and Troutman is there, but the pressure... Forces the ball to sail. Holding on a drop or a overthrown ball is unbelievable, but are going to have a re redemption shot for Troutman. He's going to get free. Troutman down the middle of the field. He's going to score. Next play, he earns it back. And wow, another big play touchdown. This Broncos unit is fighting like hell. And we are back in this ball game. It's a three-point game with a minute to go. An absolute shootout in the first half here. Minute left. There's plenty of time for the Bucks to score here. We gotta, we gotta keep it together, man. And that's not gonna help. As Evans picks up a block, one man to beat. And Stearns able to save the touchdown, but that's a massive strike to Godwin, and we really couldn't afford to give that up. Big time completion to Auden, and they are now in field goal range. Oh, it's a big strike. Auden, make the tackle inbounds, please. 12 seconds, clock ticking. They're probably going to have to take a timeout here. They are. Nine seconds left, and they're going to go for a shot at the end zone. I want man coverage here. I want man coverage. And we're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. Called man, it's probably a mistake in hindsight, but I'm thinking, you know, if we can hold him to a, a you know, a, a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's going to be play action. I'm going to fool him like I'm trying to run the ball out to, to end the half. I'm going to take a shot. And now I'm going to get sacked because I got no time. We got Pert over there getting our quarterback hurt, asshole. 31 first half points is crazy from the Buccaneers. Let's hope this is not a repeat of what happened to the Broncos in 2023 against the Miami Dolphins. We're gonna have a guy over the middle. Is that Xavier Leggett? It is his first NFL catch, Leggetti. I said Leggett, but it's Leggetti Spaghetti, baby. And Papa's hungry for some pasta. I want a Leggetti touchdown. Give it carry to Jamal, uh, Javante. It's almost at Jamal Williams. 7 for 46. He's having a quiet day. But per carry, he's having a big day. If Leggetti can win, this middle could be wide open. It looks like cover two to me. It is. We can't get the time. The pass blocking is awful. I'm going for this. I got the kahunas. Going to have Mims underneath. Get north, south. He gets the first and then gets laid out. The pressure is terrible. And this all this O-line is so bad, bro. It's so bad. But I mean we've got what I'm not I'm reading Leggetti, but like this he's wide open. We are gonna kick the field goal here with Will Lutz. And should be a one score game. 31-24. This is a much better team than us. And the rookie star power is helping us stay in the game, what I would say. So, run play. Good sound run tackle defense. I like our run defense recently. And that's an RPO, and this could be absolutely massive. There's nobody around. And we missed the tackle. And Baker Mayfield has 350 and four touchdowns and an interception. I mean, that's just, that's unbelievable numbers. That's ridiculous. Dropped it. Mike Evans dropped the football. That is a rare sight to see, but I love it. And we're, we're going to bring, we're going to bring a dog blitz here. Jones and man coverage on the running back. I've got him. Go get, go get Baker. 
Go get him. Who got there? Drew Sanders! Second year linebacker really looking to step up. One of the players I really want to develop. And a big time sack from him has the Bucks in a third and long. And they convert it. They convert it and immediately. Uh, I thought we were going to get off the field there, dude. It's shit, man. That's unreal. It's Jamal Agnew with the pick up there. We're going to have to set the edge. Big time play by Barton. And PS2 cleans up. That's right, it's Stearns. I've got it, dumbass. My cookies, baby. Come on. Caden Stearns will be the truth. Caden Stearns willing us back in two picks. It's going to be screenplay to Javante. Got time. It we got clothesline by the only fucker that could have hit. <laughs> Drake Mays got space. I got it. I got to take it. I got to take it. We're going to have to get this, man. We got to get this. We got to capitalize on these opportunities. Legetti, pick up the first. See if we can get him that goal. What is Burton doing? What is he doing? Ran away from the whole dipshit. All right, there is your total yards. I mean, we're getting outpassed by 100 full yards, and we're still only down by one score. Pretty impressive. And it's third and 10. Marvin Harrison Jr.'s got a step. He's got a step and more. Down to the 24. And Vita Vea goes down. That's a massive loss. But, dude, is Marvin Harrison Jr. having a day? Three for 137 in his debut. This guy's a freak. And we're going all the way around with Javante. Cut up field and just try and get a couple. You know, play action here. See if someone's going to open Leggetti in the flat. If he's open, I might throw him immediately. He is. But we've got Marvin Harrison Jr. just naked. Pause. Touchdown. The hat trick for the rookie who is having a monster day, and we are now tied in this ballgame, and we got a chance to win. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Some really creative play calling we've been getting into, and that's this is an absolute barn burner in week one. I don't think we could have asked for a better episode in week one from these new sliders, bro. There's no way. PS2. Must! No! Evans, we saved the touchdown, but P.S., I went for the interception, and it, just a little bit behind it, bro. I mean, I didn't, I thought he was going a little bit more forward. Big, need a big goal line stand. Come on, boys. Play action. Touchdown. Dude, they run play action. On second and two from the two. That's br a brutal drive. To give up a play action touchdown on the goal line. And then to also allow a Mike Evans bomb that could have been picked off by PS2. So now 38-31. 5 to 5.34 to play. Drake Mays got four passing touchdowns. We cannot lose in the Orange Unis as we're going mesh spot. Sharif! Here we go, buddy. You don't let me down right now in crunch time. Don't do it, buddy. Oh, and we're going to have Leggetti wide open. Oh, it's Harrison Jr. Hit a juke. It's Marvin Harrison Jr. actually getting the catch. Thought Keep mixing him and Leggetti up. We need to get the numbers fixed for next week. We, we need to. Oh, levels concept. Leggetti with a step. Just not much more than a step. <laughs> 3.30 to play, actually. Seven-point lead, third down. Massive third down. Leggetti is wide open. Did he get the feet in bounds? He did. Wow. Oh, my God. What a grab from Leggetti. This group, this pair of rookie receivers to go along with the rookie quarterback have just shown exactly what we're going to be excited about for years to come we got marvin marvin down to the two 400 passing yards for our boy drake may and we're not gonna get fancy with this we're gonna run the damn football javante punch it into pay dirt man and give up give us the tie we can't do it okay 
Get the block. Javante, get in! Fight in! Touchdown! And we got the tie. We're all tied up. 231 to play. 38 to 38 here. We have a chance at a massive upset. And the rookies are leading the freaking charge, man. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Oh, that's some fight right there. Who was it? Who led the charge there? Oh, it's a big run play here. As we clean up. Cannot be running man coverage. Go get, go get Baker. Go get Baker. Throws it away. We're getting the ball back. 154 to play. We got a chance at glory here in week one. You could not have asked for a better game in week one, man. If you're new to the channel here, make sure to drop a like. Because we are dropping bangers like that all the time. Consider subscribing. Because we got a chance at magic in week one. Six for 193 touchdowns for Marvin Harrison in week one. Man, is this guy going to be special. Inside handoff to Javante here. We want to use some clock. Trotman with the block. Javante hiding behind a guy, man. Just keep running. No need to hide, buddy. Javante on a wheel route seems good. Trotman. Hangs on. What a catch through contact. And now we are in field goal range. It could potentially win it with three here. Don't really want to want to pass it right now. Javante's not going to make us. Seven yard gain. And we're going read option. Third and two with the game on the line. We're putting it in our QB's hands. We're putting it in our QB's hands. He could have more. He's going to score. Touchdown. Drake May. Wow. This guy is going to be special. You've got to be kidding me. There is no business we should be winning this game. And yet, Drake May is leading this team with poise, with fight. And we are battling through some adversity to now be leading by seven with a minute to go. And yes, maybe we should have just gone down, kicked the three and one, but I got a chance to get a rushing touchdown with my rookie in his debut. I'm taking it. Get out of bounds, 35 seconds. That's gonna be pass interference, are you kidding me? I'm just, I'm there just a little bit early that's massive because the clock stops and they get a first down oh he's got so much time thank god what happened what what's the penalty holding after the ball was already out they threw the pass i'm gonna go i'm gonna accept this oh, it, it, maybe we shouldn't have accepted it oh my god otten down to the 35 500 passing yards for Baker. I mean, it's not necessarily realistic, but it is fun. And no, Brian Thomas, knock it out, PS2. They have no time. Oh, it's coming right down to the wire. No time, 20 seconds to go. What is this team made of? Chucks it out of the back of the end zone. 13 seconds to play. We need a goal line stand on the nine yard line for glory. I thought he was throwing, where the target initially looked, I thought he was throwing cookies. Eight seconds to go, nine yards to go to OT. What are the Bucks gonna do? Out of the back of the end zone again. What is Baker doing? Four seconds, fourth down, one play for glory for the Bucks. Let's go. PS2, go get the football. And that is the sliders, man. The reaction time as they're going for the win. Oh my God, there's no way. There's no freaking way we're losing this ball game. Ball's knocked out. Come on. We hold on and we win. Drew Sanders knocked the football out. What a ballsy call by the Bucks, and could potentially be the game of the year 
in week one of Broncos franchise. If this week one doesn't get you intrigued and hyped for this series, I don't know what does. Massive rookie numbers or 89 total point game in week one. And it was a nail biter that came down to the final play of the ball game. Legitimately. What a game. Holy smokes. And it was a QB battle. QB battle. Baker Mayfield, 27-37, 536, six touchdowns, two picks. Drake May, the rookie, in his debut, 18-29, 418, four touchdowns, one pick. Also had a rushing touchdown, though. Rushing, Javante, 19 for 87 and a rushing touchdown. Drake May, 2 for 32 and a 26-yard rushing touchdown as well. Rashad White, 11 for 58. Started out really, really hot, and then we were able to kind of control him down the stretch. Um, receiving, there's going to be some big numbers in here. 7 for 106 for Chris Godwin. 6 for 190 and 3 TDs for Marvin Harrison Jr. Kate Otten, 5 for 120. Xavier Leggetti. Uh, four for 65. Troutman had a big day. Four for 132 and a touchdown for Troutman in the absence of Greg Dolchich, dude. He stepped up big time when we needed him. Brian Thomas, the other rookie, three for 120 and two touchdowns. Marvin Mims, three for 33. Uh, not not too involved. He was involved early and then kind of trickled off. Um Jamal Agnew, three for 67 and a touchdown. Mike Evans, three for 93, two touchdowns. Uh, Payne, oh, Payne Durham, not Ross Durham, my bad. Payne Durham, one touchdown as well. Sack-wise, Anthony Nelson gets a sack. Baron Browning gets a sack. Drew Sanders got a sack. Half a sack for Vita Vea and Greg Gaines. Interceptions, two for Caden Stearns, two user picks. Amazing. And then Jordan Whitehead also had an interception, man. I feel like that was really realistic. Uh, pick numbers at least and then tfls two for vea two for gains one for a bunch of guys around the board man so uh, it's a big time game so so much fun and i cannot wait to see what happens next week 39 coach points in week one is wild as we start off with a bang we got both our goals done and we get a one point win in a tight nail biter, man. As Baron Browning and Marvin Harrison both getting upgrades. Baron Browning had a sack, goes up to a 79 overall power rusher. He's still very young. I want to develop him very badly. Hit power and uh, power move both get boosts. He's only 25, 6'3, 240. Star dev, 87 speed as well, 92 excel, 77 block shed, 81 power move. Marvin Harrison Jr. getting an upgrade regardless, man. And I'd say his route running needs help, but I, I, he's a really good physical receiver. I'd like to develop him more um, in jump ball situations, I feel like. I feel like that is where he excels. So I think we will give him a physical upgrade. He's going to get really good at everything, but for now, physical seems like the way to go. Break tackle, spec catch plus two, strength plus one. Dude. Spec catch plus two is huge. He's up to 96 spec catch as a rookie. Generational receiver in real life. Generational in Madden. And, and you know, what else can you expect from a guy like that? So, uh, we'll go key to victory here. 2,500 XP for all wide receivers and 10 staff points. That's huge. Drake May showed out with five TDs. Um, we obviously want an attribute upgrade, not an XP reward. So we are going to go with the attribute upgrade. He gets plus four deep accuracy permanently already gets plus four deep in his first game. And somebody was injured, by the way, it was Ben powers. No, it was Richard Lawrence. Who's now going to be out three weeks. You've got to be, you've got to be kidding me. That is terrible. And I'll just show you guys quickly the scout options um, after I do them real quick here, just so you guys know what we're looking at for the coming draft. So for scouts, boys, we're focusing most of our efforts on finding good linemen and offensive outside linebackers, um, as well as honestly, anybody in the box, essentially. We're looking at DNs, DTs, um, then also trench players. We're also looking at tight ends. And then we're also looking at corners and wide receivers. So we got a breadth of people as we need a ton of help. Um, we're not really looking for wide receiver at all. But if we find someone that's really impressive, then maybe, 
you know, we'll uh, we'll give them a shot. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the first episode, man. It's it's so great to be back on a series, man. And, you know, subscriber franchise just dropped. You've either already seen that episode or we'll see it after this one. But I uh, just appreciate you guys so much. Let me know what you think of game one and how excited you are for game two against the Raiders, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, peace.